Curious to know how the modular system works on the new Platinum LED Bimax panels? Stay tuned. Hi guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and behind me I have three Platinum LED Biomax panels. Two brand new Biomax 900s, so these are the second generation new and improved Biomax panels. And over here, my trusty Biomax 600, this is the first gen panel that I've been using for a few years now. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them all up, well, connect some of them up and I'm going to show you how it works. In particular, I'm going to test out and show you how the new wireless connectivity feature works on the new Generation 2 panels. Um, one thing I should mention before all you uh, EMFers out there get a bit worried, um, you don't have to use wireless mode. You can use the, the trusty old school cable and that disables wireless function. So don't panic. I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you how you can do it with wireless and uh, how you can do it with cable. And I'm also going to show you, well I'm also going to test to see if the new gen panels are compatible with the old generation panels in terms of modular setup. Okay, so first what we're going to do, I'm going to bring the camera in and we're going to fire up one of these 900s over here. If you haven't seen my reviews or first impressions on these new panels, go check them out. Because um, I do show you how this new screen works. There is a brand new touch screen on there, it's pretty neat. In this video though, we're just going to look at the modular setup function, alright? So come on in and I'll, I'll explain it all for you up close. Alright, here we have the new second generation Biomax uh, control panel. Pretty neat touch screen on here. Um, so if you're using this panel on its own, just one panel, you don't have to do anything. By default, it will be set to solo, right? Now if the panel is set to solo, there's no wireless transmission enabled, so it's not trying to search another panel. So this is the first time I've actually fired up this unit, and by default that's on. So you won't have to worry about it if you're only using one panel. Now if you want to connect multiple panels up, uh, so you only have one control panel, then there's two ways you can do it. Yes, you can spin around, plug this in on the back, and link them together, or you can use the new wireless function on here. Uh, which is done through this setting here, set, and you can change it all. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fire up in a second panel, panel, and we're going to see if we can get this wireless transmission going. After that, we're going to um, hang them on top of each other and play around, all right? So let's try the wireless transmission first. So I've got two, my two new Biomax 900s plugged into the wall, but they're not connected to each other. I've still got the data cable here, for instance. Um, now what I'm going to do, I want this one to be the main controlling panel, and this one to be the secondary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this one first, I'm going to go into set, I'm going to set that up as secondary, I'm going to hit 1, by default hit OK. It's the first time I've done this, so I'm hoping this is how it works. So secondary 1, alright, um, we'll touch that. Now on this one I'm going to do the same thing, but set it as primary. Now it asks for the group, I'm going to say 1, I'm going to hit OK, it says loading, and I think that's it. Um, so let's go back. Right, now this is, if this is all done properly, if I turn this one on, because this is my control unit, this is the primary, it should enable this one. Alright, so we're going to go on, and would you look at that? They're both running. So now, if I stop this one, oh, wrong button, there we go, they both stop. Very cool. Well, that was easy, that was actually super easy. I thought there might be like some codes or some settings, like some more advanced settings you had to do, or ex at least like choose from the option which one you want to connect to, but it just did it all automatically, so that's cool. So again, let's just try this again. So we'll go custom mode. What we'll do this time is we'll turn the red light oh, right down. We'll leave the infrared on. We'll hit run. Actually, that was a bad example because you're not going to be able to see which one's working, but I can see the red light going on. Oh, sorry, the near infrared going on here. So we'll stop that one because that was a bad example. So let's try this again. We'll go custom mode red on 50% uh, and then we'll go back and then we'll go on off and there we go they're both running with red light at 50% that's very very cool so I mean that was super duper easy um, now the good thing is one of the advantages of this new system is proximity right so previously you were limited to this Cable. All right, so you can maybe get a foot or two uh, distance between the two panels, between the two panels, which is fine if you had one on top of the other. But what this new setup means is I could have them at opposite sides of the room, 
so let's just try that. All right, so you, it's not quite opposite sides of the room, but there's a meter or so apart, so uh, that's enough to demonstrate how this works. So the only cables coming out of the units are the power cables. They go into a double plug there. Um, there is no cable in between the two panels. So in theory, I could have one here in front of me and the other one here, and I don't have to have a connection going going around. Um, or I could have them on opposite sides of the room. But I say that, but I realize it's not really... No one's really going to do that, right? Um, unless it's a showroom, perhaps. Anyway, so what I can do now, this is set as my primary. So, if I go in here and turn it on, that one should work. Let's test it. There we go. That's pretty cool. And then we can turn that off again. So yeah, that is pretty neat. I mean, it's one less cable you have to connect, which is always good. Um, and I guess it does create more options in terms of how you can run these panels uh you know maybe you've got one mounted to the ceiling for instance or you know out of reach we can't quite touch it and you can't go into the menu uh this wireless function could be really good um or you're using it as background light in a room or i don't know then it's it's it gives you options right you, the cool thing is you don't have to use it if you're worried about the emf or you just simply want to use cables because cables are easier um sweet just use cables. Now, on that note, if you are worried about EMF issues and you don't want to use the wireless thing, but you do want multiple panels, then by plugging this in on the back, it simply deactivates the wireless function. So let's test this out. When you look at the back of these panels, you will see down there plugs, right? The first plug is another PowerPoint plug. Now what I can actually do, previously you saw I had, I've got one cable from this panel going to the power socket and one from this panel going to the south power socket. I can run all the power through one device. So I can use this connector cable, which comes in the box, and that plugs into this port and then goes into this port over here. So then that way you only have one power cable going to the, um, you know, run into the wall. Now, of course, if you had these panels on opposite sides of the room, you're going to run separate back cables, but hey, there's another option. Further down here, you see these little auxiliary ports. This is what you previously have to use to connect panels together. So you'd plug one into there and then plug one into the other end. So by plugging this cable in, it deactivates that wireless function. So if you don't want wireless and you have multiple panels, use the cable. It's really as simple as that. Okay, so that was the first part of this video, testing that wireless connectivity function, which works very, very well. Super easy to use, so that's great. The second part now is testing the modular capability. So, first things what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these two uh, Vimax 900s, the second gen ones. Um, I have done videos on these in the past, but what I wanna focus on more today is how they are compatible with the older generation panels, because there's a little bit I have to, a little bit of information that I have to reveal here about this. Uh, well, not necessarily reveal, it is on the Platinum LED website, but I want to share with, with um, you viewers. To connect these together, it's quite simple. Let me show you how it works. Come in close. You'll see on the top of the panel, these clips. Okay? This is what you're going to use to connect another panel. Now, on the bottom of the panel, so again, we've got the clips up the top. On the bottom, you have some holes. Of course, I use the biggest panel that Platinum do to demonstrate this. See those holes? Those key holes there? So it's rather simple, right? Those holes slot over these clips and away you go. So let's try that now. So we simply slot these over, feel them drop in, there we go, they're in. Slide them forward to lock them in, done. They're sitting on top of each other. There's a lot of weight there, but you can see how they're all attached. And that's pretty cool. So the cool thing is now, unfortunately I've gotten the wrong way around, but what I'd do, whether I use the wireless connectivity or the cable, I could control these just from the one control panel. So I'd make this my primary, you just turn that one on, hit start, and away you go. I didn't connect the power cords or the data cords, so there's no point in me doing this because right now because this one isn't gonna go. But as you can see, that's a, that's an awesome height, right? That's perfect height. And this is why I like the two 900s is like a Pretty much ultimate setup because if I do two, if I stand in front of them, especially with these new, the new high power generation two panels, 
I can stand 8, 10 inches in front of it and I'm getting a wide treatment area, area and um, good irradiance because these are new and improved uh, LEDs. Of course, I could stack another two of these Biomax off to the side and you've got massive width of treatment area. But what I could also do is I could have two of these on this wall and then two over here in a corner and then I've got front and side treatment turn around you've got the whole body covered and you know in a very short amount of time so that is all very cool now what I should mention is any of the new Biomax panels all clip together in a modular fashion right so you could for instance put another 900 on top of this I don't know why you would but you could um, so if you get a 450 or a 300 which are narrower or a 600 you can clip them all together like so perfect works works flawlessly now if you want to connect one of the new Biomax panels with the old one. You, yes, you can do that, but there's a slight twist. Let me explain. I'll just pick this up and we'll come back down. Now, I've been told from Platinum LED that yes, the new and old generations are perfectly compatible and um, you can still control them from the one unit and all that good stuff. However, and it's a bit of a however, there are some limitations and the limitation is that the new generation panel has to be the primary or the lead control panel, which is fine because it's actually the nicer um, control panel to use, right? So that means, um, you know, this, the new one is going to be the primary, the older generation panel is going to be secondary, which is, which is fine. Uh, the other thing is that the new generation panel has to go on top if you want a nice, smooth, clean finish, all right? So that means uh, this one's going to be higher up, this one's going to be underneath. Of course, it's not the best demo here because I've got a Biomax 600 and a Biomax 900, so the 600 is a lot narrower. I should have dug up my first generation Biomax 900 and it would have all looked a bit nicer. But anyway, um, so that's just to make sure that it's all a nice clean finish. But to be honest, you want, if this is going to be the lead panel, you want this one on top anyway, the, the second generation panel on top anyway, because that's going to be eye level, otherwise you're going to reach down. Now, if you don't like that, you're like, ah, oh, you know, I, I already have uh, a Biomax 600 and I want to get a new generation 900, I don't really like the idea of the bigger one on top, you know, I'd rather the other way around. Well, remember, you can set up that way, um, it's just going to look a bit, bit odd, but um, you don't have to connect them all together. You can have them individually set up like individually controlled and in fact I've been doing this for a long time even though you can plug them all in all together I um I just haven't got around to doing it because I'm always chopping and changing panels uh and I just hit the power on one hit the power on the other and away you go right like it's not the end of the world to be honest it's just a convenience thing anyway let's see how it goes first by um linking them together with the new generation panel on top and then we'll see if we can do it the other way around so we have the gen 1 600 on the bottom and then you gen 2 900 on top looks a bit silly and um to be honest if you are doing this it's probably best you get a friend or someone to help you because um these panels are heavy and that was a bit tricky but we're up there now what i've done as well is i've linked them in the back uh using the data cable and the power cable uh this one was set to follow and you can see here i've turned it on and it says follow and this one is still set to primary so I should turn this on and they should both run. So let's try it. Turn that on. Boom. Look at that. Simple. I'm curious as to what happens if we go custom mode. Turn this off. Back. On on. Yep. We got near infrared working on both and no red. So that is cool. You can do everything now just from that one control. I want to test to see if I can stack them the other way around. Though uh, Platinum said you can't, or you can't, I think you can, but you just don't get a nice smooth finish. Um, it might be a bit clunky getting it set up, but let's test it anyway. All right, that's done. And that actually looks a little bit better. Um, so that slotted on. Perfect. Uh, well, I wouldn't say perfect, but it was quite easy. The only issue is you got a bit of an edge here, but still the new generation one is the primary and this is the follow. Uh, so if I turn this on, they should both work, so there we go, good as go. So remembering that this is a first generation Biomax 600 and that is a new generation, second generation Biomax 900 and I can control them, I can connect them all up to control them 
um, using the data cable, works fine. I can stack them on top of each other, all works fine. Um, and they're still compatible with the stands. So I have done another video on the stands. I've got a horizontal platinum LED stand. Now um, that works with both the new and the old generation panels. On the back, the screw holes are in exactly the same places. So you can um, use either or. So you could combine, you could have this exact setup, for instance, on a horizontal uh, platinum LED stand, which is good to know. Now, one thing I didn't mention is um, if you're a bit confused as to what I was doing here, all of the instructions are in the pretty comprehensive manual that comes with these panels, as well as all the cables, so you don't have to run out and get extra cables. Though, in theory, you don't really need many cables with the new wireless connectivity option. Remember that you can turn that off. Well, to be honest, it's off by default, and you don't have to use it if you do have multiple panels. If you have any questions, if there's something like you want me to try or you want to know, of course, you can head over to the Platinum LED website. But uh, you can also ask me as well, leave a comment below. Uh, I've reviewed a lot of red light panels, including these new uh, Platinum LED panels. Uh, depending on when this goes out, I will be doing a full review of the 900. I have done a full review of the 600 um, second generation panels, and I will be comparing all the Platinum LED panels with Juve, Mitre Red, Red Light Rising, all the panels in the market in, in one big comparison series as well. So be sure to subscribe for that. If you do want to buy any of these panels, whether it's Platinum or any other red light therapy company panel, uh, be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, A-L-E-X. It will save you anything from, I think, 5% is pretty standard. Um, so yeah, be sure to use that. I do get a slight cutback, so I appreciate that, and it allows me to continue editing and creating these videos. Otherwise, I think that's it for now. So if you have enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you soon. I might do a session while these are all set up like this.